Hey everyone, I finally made it to Britt, Iowa. Just now I got here. It's Friday at 5 p.m. And the boxcar gives away the location. There it is. That's cool. I'd like to film the inside of the boxcar, but I think there's a few people who don't want to be on camera. At least that's what I heard, so I don't respect that. But there it is, there's the big boxcar. Four twenty now, four fifty. The bit went right here, four fifty. Four fifty now, seventy five. Four fifty now, seventy five. One one seventy five. Four fifty now, seventy five. One one seventy five. Seventy five. Seventy five. Sold for four hundred fifty dollars. Thank you, everybody. Everybody here supporting the the Hobo's and the Hobo Museum. One thing I did forget at the very beginning was to have the former king and queen talk before this started, so we would like to take a moment to have Slim Tim and Flux talk, your past hobo king and queen. Uh, really appreciate being able to be here and be a part of everything. Um, so, thank you. We'll now continue with the coronation of a king. Uh, our first one, Big Skip. Good afternoon. I started my hobo career at a young age and gave it up at a young age. As you can see, I'm a little large to try to get on trains. <laughs> but uh, I knew Steam Train Warrior for many years, and he always talked to me about coming over here. So in 1991, I came over. At that time, he was ill and couldn't come. But then the following year, after having his strokes, then I started to uh, chauffeur him around. And I was his driver for 12 to 14 years. And that uh, was a main adventure to me. I got to uh, go so many places, to uh, nursing homes, hospitals, VA clinics. <laughs> Anybody that wanted to listen to the hobos, we were there telling them the stories. We uh, heard different things what Steam Train would talk about knowing famous people, Johnny Cash, and Dolly Parton, and all these people. And it was true, because I got to meet them also. So the, there was a lot of history there, and I was so honored just to be able to, to ride with him like that. Of course, we weren't riding trains. We were riding in his little motor home, but still, it, it was a very good experience for me. So that's, uh, this is where we're at today. Steam train, uh, we miss him. Today, he'd be 104 years old. So we know he couldn't be with us. <laughs> he was in good health, he wouldn't be here. So am I time up there? Because I'm about done. <laughs> I have a minute. Well, I had this thing timed all wrong, didn't I? But uh, it, I could. I could if I could. But at this point right now, I do have a bad back and I cannot stand here any longer to talk. But thank you for listening. Give me the time. Next candidate, Louis. How are y'all doing today? Good. Yeah? All right. I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty bad at public speaking. I'm going to do my best, though, so bear with me. Um, so I started traveling when I was about 19. I'm 31 now. So um, I've been on the road about 12 years. I hopped my first tra freight train out of Portland, Oregon, and uh, 2015, and uh, since then I've just kind of hit the ground running. I travel basically full time and work when I can, and make money. Um, I'm uh, running this year, even though it's my first year here, to um, kind of represent the, the younger riders that are on the road. There's unfortunately not a whole lot of young people that come to this event, 
And um, I'd really like to see that change in the future, so kind of like pass off the, the gavel to the next generation, if you get my meaning. Um, but yeah, um, I think that's about it. I don't really got a whole lot else to say. But uh, thank you, thank you for having me. That was Louie, thank you. Shoestring. Hey, how's everybody? I first come to Brit in 2000, and then I came again in 2001, but I didn't, I didn't run for King back then. Uh, but uh, back when I started riding in 1989, you could, you could get off a freight train anywhere and there'd be seven or eight guys that camp in the jungle, and you always had somebody there to take you under their wing and show you the way. Nowadays, you can go into a camp, and I mean, you might be four or five months, you might not see nobody, and when I finally do, I like to pass on my knowledge to the younger riders, because that they just don't have anybody out really show them the way as often as I did when I, when I started riding trains, and of course, it, it's dangerous, I lost half my hand and got hit by a car last year, so. But I wouldn't have it, I wouldn't live any other way. I'm happier right here riding trains and I hope I have another 32 years of riding. And still good to see Britt going strong. Wild action. Thank you. Bass fan. Bass man, and uh, it sounds like jazz, but with a B, bass. And uh, I've been on 577 freight trains. I caught a freight train out of every state here. I even rubber trapped on all the 48 states in here. Uh, however, I'm here in Britt, Iowa. It's amazing here. Look how many people come together. I just did a parade, the streets was crowded, practically. I ran out of candy, and ain't gonna get down me another line. I was like, this is amazing. Now, I'm surrounded by so many kings and queens out here. And yes, I do look young. I'm, I've been out here 10 years. Black don't crack. <laughs> so, uh, however, uh, I'm here to show due respect because I've been out here riding trains for 10 years and I've been hearing stories and doing things. Who knew I would grow up to be a hobo? I would never thought I would just be a famous hobo one day, 10 years down the line, but look at me. And <laughs> whoever knew. <laughs> so, uh, mostly I'm an appreciation on how well the glue stuff, while how over year after year after year I'm looking at beautiful kings and queens and it's still going strong. Hobo ain't dead, I'm looking at it. This is what's up. <laughs> um, I'm gonna finish this. I'm, I'm not that dangerous guy that people think they might see out here. This is the real deal. This is what I wear every day. I'm sorry to I dress like this. However, I'm just encouraging everybody to practice light working and kind-hearted messaging. Love on somebody, love your neighbor, love yourself, and love those around you. Y'all have a blessing. Thank you. Well, it's that time again where we get to applaud the vote. Big Skip.
Bass Man. Ah, but wait, there's more course noises. a nice little doggy. Hey puppy, look, look at here. Look at there. Get the ball. Hey, you got it. Cool. I hate you. Blue or orange can't. Hey, he wants me to throw the ball back again. Well, we bumped in the shoestring over here and he's putting his tag on the box car. Ain't that cool? Good night, I wish you well.